just gonna pull this old roofer's trick. I heard this from Steve Basic, by the way. So Steve, thank you for, for teaching me this, of actually using a foam backer rod underneath my roof panels, right? So what does that mean? Well, here's a foam backer rod right here. And this is not your typical application or use of a backer rod, right? Usually this is so that you can use less caulking and something to that effect. But we are doing a non-striated panel, so it's totally, totally smooth. And you have this risk of something called oil canning if you do a panel of this sort. So I love smooth surfaces. I love smooth construction materials. And with this metal, I just thought this was so incredibly beautiful. And this right here is allowing me, in theory, we'll see how well it works, to avoid having to put down a separate material to create this gap between my metal roof and the roof decking. Now, Steve Basic didn't tell me do it because of that reason. He said do it because it will minimize the oil canning, right? So I wanted to try to combine the best of both worlds as I preach all the time, try to minimize process. So I wanted to try to be able to tackle the avoidance of the oil canning while I was also elevating my roof off of my decking. And what that is gonna do in theory, if it works is, and you can kind of see right here, I have a, a minimal elevation. That is going to prevent conduction from occurring, right? So my roof gets hot and it wants to pass through the adjacent surface and that heat wants to transfer into my building, putting more pressure on my new insulation. So I wanted to elevate it up, give it some at least minimal ventilation. I was going for a minimum of a quarter inch everywhere under here so that I have the ability to vent under this roof to reduce the surface temperature, maybe by up to 40%. And then while doing so, also minimize the, the radiation. So when this, this material gets hot, not only does it conduct, but it also radiates. And the further away I can get that material from that decking surface, the less radiation is going to occur. And therefore, I should end up, guys, with a non-striated panel that never shrinks down in oil cans because of this backer rod. And I should also end up with minimizing conduction and radiation and heat transfer into my building. So to me, those are two humongous victories and I really hope it works as well in real life as it worked out in my head. But thank you for learning about this detail. Uh, please guys, if y'all have any feedback or comments or even opinions, whatever you got, feel free to throw it out. And uh, I just appreciate you watching my videos and uh, y'all make sure you come back for more. Adios amigos.